So we've hoisted some of this orange goo out of the water. That is blue whale droppings. Very fierce, bitter, kind of salty smell to it. Very, very much seafood. Bright, bright orange. And that is the indigestible remains of krill, of the crustaceans that blue whales feed on. Oh! Oh, actually, oh! Oh! God, that's rancid! Don't think I've ever been quite so excited about poo in my entire life. A whale must have surfaced here just minutes before. But our search is getting harder. The waves are increasing and we're lurching about all over the place. Even a surfacing blue whale could be hidden by the swell and filming is next to impossible. Spare a thought for joining the cameraman. This would have to be about as hard as wildlife filmmaking gets. Bouncing up and down on a boat, being hung onto in a bear hug by Mervyn. But then, a spout. And for a split second, we think we see a whale. The boat's motors have slowed because we're just there, right in front of us. There, Johnny, Johnny, over to the left, right alongside the boat. And it's going to dive under us. It's going to dive under the boat. No more than 20 metres. Oh, my word! No way! Yes, yeah, yeah, I see it, I see it. The only comparison I can make is like a nuclear submarine just breaking the surface. It's almost silent and you just see the water dripping off its flanks. Oh, the spray just came back and hit us all in the face. It's that close. There's a reason this is seen as the best place on Earth to see blue whales. There's two animals side by side. And for the first time, you can really get a sense of the scale of the animal. It is genuinely bigger and longer than our boat. Blue whales are the largest of the baleen whales. Baleen whales don't have any teeth. Instead, hanging from their upper jaw, they have plates of a substance called baleen, which is made of keratin. Same thing that our fingernails are made of. 